Warning, this video may contain scenes of extreme untidiness. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello again and welcome back to the Simi Dirty trailer. We just got back from a camping trip, so it's got a few bits and pieces laying around still. The road is right behind me, so we're gonna get a little car noise once in a while. But uh, I've had people ask me a couple times what order I would build my trailer in if I did it again uh, to save myself time uh, or just suggested build order on a trailer. And so I want to get do that real quick here, kind of give you guys a, a good idea of what I would do so I don't have to do all that tear down and put back up like I did a few times. I, I kept pulling things off and putting them back on. So the first and the major thing to do, uh, this is the most important one, is to have a really good plan of what you wanted to do. I had kind of a general plan, you know, and I, and I made that plan mostly on the constraints of I wanted a trailer that was still usable as a cargo trailer, nice and strong, and... I wanted to sleep five people, right? So the in this case, the form was following the function. Uh, it had to have those functional constraints first, and then it could be as pretty as I wanted to make it, which was, you know, it turned out okay. I mean, as far as beauty-wise, I think it's beautiful because I like the function of things more than I do the form of them a lot of the time. I'm not a big fine art guy, you know? But uh, I wanted it to sleep five people, and I wanted it to be kind of a crossover trailer that I could still load my stuff in if I wanted to move it around. So that was my major build constraints. And then I had to get down, you have to get down to the nitty gritty. So the first thing that I would put in is the windows. It's like one of the last things I put in structurally and it was a pain because I had to tear it all down to get them in there. So the first thing I would put into this trailer would be the windows because you've got to, you don't want insulation on there. You don't want electrical in the way. You don't want siding. So lay out your windows, cut them in and put them in. At least the beginning part of the install. Obviously my window clamped to the siding. So at least get your cutouts for your windows in. Um, and that's the, the best place to start, I think, because there's you don't want anything in the way for when you're doing that because you've got to cut into the wall of the trailer. And, of course, any kind of ventilation, if you're going to put in uh, an exterior, uh, like an exterior cooler or something like that, anything that cuts through the side of the trailer in a bigger way, like a window or a cooler vent, those are going to be first. And then after that, I would probably put my insulation on. Uh, lay the insulation into the panels the way I did. Um, I might put big truck. Um, I might put in something slightly better insulation over I don't know how loud that is for you, but it's really loud in here for me. Um, I might put something like a better layer of insulation over my cross beams that I, than I did. Um, as well, so it would make my wall slightly thicker, but it would, I think it would help a little bit with that insulation. But this hasn't been a problem for cooling and heating, so uh, it's not too bad. So I would get the windows, then I would put in the insulation, get all the insulation laid out and done the way you want it, and then I would do the electrical. The electrical would all go in um, and laid out. A lot of it goes along the roof beams and things like that, and it's not in the way, but some of it's down here in the walls. So I'd get the electrical in, and then I would uh, put the siding on and then I would do whatever interior electrical finish work I needed to do. Um, this is where it gets less critical. Um, I would get my tongue box and everything on during the electrical process. I'd get that on there and, and all that installed because I put all my electrical stuff outside in the tongue box. And then I would do all my interior electrical stuff, get all that done. And then you could start doing things like framing out beds, uh, clamp, you'd, you'd finish clamping the windows in and everything like that, um, and do your flooring and other such things of that nature. So that's the basic build order, order because once you've got those major structural walls um, and electrical and power stuff done, like the heating, cooling stuff, then you're pretty free reign for the rest of it, at least the way I built mine, because you can work through the sides of the trailer and, and things like that. So that's a basic build order. Uh, it's a quick idea of the way I would probably do it again, uh, just to, to make the job a little easier. Um, so just to repeat it there, so we would have windows and anything like a heating and cooling vents, thing, big holes in the wall, okay? And then I would do the insulation, then I, and then I would do the electrical and put all the um, all the parts in the in the tongue box, and then I would do the all the interior finish, electrical and flooring, and that sort of stuff, and then the rest of it can kind of come after that, and you can kind of willy nilly that. It's not as, as critical. So I hope that helps for anybody that wants to build one of these, and uh, I didn't ramble on too much there. And thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It does really help support my channel, and uh, it makes me feel good.
and I'll see you next time on The Dirty Shop. I got a couple more good videos coming right up here pretty quick.